Saturday going. Thank you so much for being here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, please, and I'm so thankful to have you here. Today we are doing a taste test. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but I thought to myself, let me taste a bunch of protein bars on camera. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about them. I have bought a bunch of protein bars. I already like ate part of one, so I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like just to give you guys like, you know, some info. So first and foremost, if you haven't seen it on the internet, if you haven't tried it, there is, which is the one that I opened, so I'm sorry about that. The, oh, is the other way one? Oh no, it's the other way. The Complete Cookie. This is Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. 16 grams of protein per cookie. Okay, so two, the, each one has two servings. One serving is 180 calories, six grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein, and 12 grams of sugar. I will tell you I already dug into this. I'm gonna show you a little bit. This is kind of what it looks like, the rest of it that I like, you know, didn't eat. How this? It's very good. Is it the best protein bar out there? Sorry if I talk while I'm eating. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's really good, it's really tasty. But honestly, if you're trying to lose weight or anything like that, I really wouldn't go for this because it's not the healthiest option in my opinion. Like, I really wouldn't go for protein bars anyways. I would go for real food, but still. But it's very tasty. If you want a better option than bad, I would go with this. I do love this. I have had it many times before, but I feel like if I'm if I'm dieting, I would prefer to diet all the way, and if I'm gonna eat a cookie, eat a real cookie with real sugar, then like diet kind of, and then have this. Like, I don't wanna do that. Don't wanna do that. So that's the first one. All right. So the next one, which I'm not even gonna, should I open it? I'll leave it for the last, I'll leave it for the last. Okay, so what else do I have here? I have a, Quest bar that is very, very, very popular. I've tried this before, but I will try it for you guys. This is the Quest bar strawberry cheesecake flavor protein bar. That's my cat. I hope he stops. Louie, no. This is the Quest bar strawberry cheesecake flavor protein bar. It has 20 grams of protein. So for this bar, this is one serving and it has 180 calories five grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, two sugars, and 20 grams of protein. I mean, it has 20 grams of protein, so that's good. I really don't like the flavor. I know some people say, heat it up, it's great. I don't really, but I'll try it. I'll have it. I'll have it here in front of you. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not good. It's like very powdery. And people love this. I'm not trying to hate on any company, I'm not trying to. But it's like why why do people love this so much? I'm really not a fan. No. Not a fan. In my opinion, not worth it. Pass, but if you like it, go for it. So next we have something that I have never tried. We have the Luna Protein. This is in the flavor. Chocolate walnut fudge, 12 grams of protein, gluten-free. What are the specs on this? 170 calories, six grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, 13 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. This is like 20 grams of carbs and 13 grams of sugar. And like, where's the protein here? Where did I read it? 12 grams of protein. I feel like, I feel like I'm being cheated, but let's see what it tastes like. Let's see what it tastes like, but it's new. It's new. I mean, maybe if it was bomb.com, but let's see. It's a candy bar. Yeah. Um. I don't know what to think. I don't know. It's kind of like fudgy but it tastes a little weird but it's not bad it's not repulsive like one of those protein bars i wouldn't really reach for this but 
I mean, I don't know. It tastes like nothing to me. It's like, I guess smooth. I don't feel any crunchiness in there. I mean, it, oh, it's called chocolate walnut fudge, so maybe they do it like that. It leaves an aftertaste, though. I'm not a fan about that. No aftertaste. On to the next one. Okay, so something that I have not tried but saw that was new is the Chef Robert, what is this? Irvine? Chef Robert Irvine? Fit Crunch Birthday Cake, 30 grams of protein, six grams of sugar. Woohoo! Birthday cake. So this is 380 calories. I feel like I would prefer to eat like an entire meal, like some actual protein and like a salad or something else that would equal this and have this bar. That's my problem. 27 grams of carbs, 13, 30 grams of protein and 16 grams of fat. Let's see what this tastes like. I guess on the go. I think, I guess if you're on the go, but like, I don't know. That's just me. Mmm. Oh, it smells like protein. It smells like weird, funky. It smells like funky feet. Oh. Doesn't smell good. Let's try it though. Hmm. I don't know. Know that proteiny flavor. Yeah, I know. It's a pass. Ooh. I maybe you can maybe you can handle it, but I can't handle that it's kind of proteiny. Uh, medicine, proteiny, powdery. I, I can't have another bite. This is a no. No. Probably another one that's gonna want to make me puke, but well, um, is the Muscle Farm Combat Crunch. Mm. 20 grams of protein, 230 calories, eight grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein and six grams of sugar. Probably gonna taste like dog poo, but we're gonna try it anyway. Here we go, let's try this. What does it look like? Oh, it's hard. So she said. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I'm a trooper, so I'm gonna eat that piece. But if not, I would throw that out. Oh God. I don't like it. Soft baked. Here. Ugh. I'm so sorry. Don't buy this. No. Muscle Farm. Don't buy Muscle Farm. On right, to the next one. Actually, we have two of the same brand before I go to my last one, which is my all time favorite that I've had before. I haven't tried these before. These are Cliff Bars, but they're not the regular Cliff Bars. So there's the Cliff Bar Whey Protein Bar. And then there's the Builder's Protein Cliff Bar. So the Builder's Protein is 280 calories, 10 grams of fat, 29 carbs, and 20 protein, and 21 sugar. Why 21 sugar? Why so much sugar? That's this one. And then this one, the Whey Protein Bar, has 14 grams, but it has less sugar. 260 uh, calories, uh, six, 13 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, five grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein. Let's try this one first. So we're gonna try the whey protein bar first. That's from the Cliff Bar. Oh, that looks cool. Oh. This might not be as bad. Not bad. What is this? Coconut almond. Coconut almond chocolate. Very good. This tastes very, very, very good. Let me read those specs again. 260 gram calories, 13 grams of fat, 
putting more carb. Honestly, I wish the protein was higher, but for only five grams of sugar, this tastes very good. This does not taste like a protein bar. This Cliff Bar, you did good. This is great. Go out and try this. Thumbs up. Mm, very good, very tasty. Let's try this one. This one is in chocolate peanut butter. This one has more sugar though, which I'm not too a fan of, but hey. So, this one looks like a regular. Mm. Mm, show that. Show that camera. This is not as good as the other one. Mm -mm. But why? If you have, oh. If you have 20, it has 21 grams of sugar. It has more protein, but so what? Like six grams, whatever. I don't good. It's not bad. It's not horrible. It doesn't taste horrible, but it's not good. It's like, eh. like, yeah, I can have that, but I'm not going to run out and buy this. Nope. Then the last one, my favorite, a lot of people's favorite. I think that this is an Awesome protein bar. This, in my opinion, is the best protein bar ever. Every single, I don't know, IG, YouTube, whatever, so many people love this bar and it's because it is so awesome. My favorite of all time, and I'm sure you guys know, it is this. It is the Power Crunch Bar. This is the most amazing protein bar, in my opinion. Why? Because it does not taste proteiny at all. It tastes like a wafer. It doesn't have that, that artificial sweetener flavoring. It doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. It is just awesome. Awesome and amazing, and I only have good things to say about it. It's a perfect snack, in my opinion, if you really need one. It is 200 calories, which is a lot for this little thing. It is 13 grams of fat. It has 8 grams of carbs. It has 5 grams of sugar, and it has four, 14 grams of protein. But compared to all the other ones, this, in my opinion, has a better ratio with flavor. Yes, there are others that have less sugar and more protein, but the flavor is disgusting. You can't down that. Then the ones that have a little bit better flavor don't have as much protein or their carbs are super high and their sugars are super high. This also is great if you are dieting and you have a sweet craving because you have a sweet tooth like myself and you want something, this will kick it for you like boom, it's done. So. I will eat this in a second, but to recap really quick, after everything that I have tried that, ugh, what I would purchase again, depending, would be the complete cookie, even though I usually don't go for this unless it's the only option there, just because I think in total this is about 300 plus calories in a cookie, and it has like 24 grams of sugar, which I'm like, uh, no 16 grams of protein for 24 grams of sugar not worth it So I don't think it's worth it, but I would purchase it if it's around. It has a good flavor This has an awesome flavor. I love this cliff bar cliff bars. This is just delicious Whey protein bar Honestly, this is great. This has 13 grams of fat, which is cool 24 grams of carbs 14 grams of protein and 5 grams of sugar the only reason why this beats this is because they both don't have a protein flavor, proteiny flavor if you know. This is 200 calories, this is 260 calories, this is 13 grams of fat, and this is 13 grams of fat, so okay. This one is still a little bit more calorically dense, but this only has 8 carbs. 8 grams of carbs, 24 grams of carbs in this one, so I prefer this one. This also has 5 grams of sugar, this only has 5 grams of sugar. This has 14 protein, 14 protein. So the only difference in this is a little bit higher calorie this and it's because the carbs are higher. If you don't care about the carbs, have this, it's fine. The only reason why I'm not saying go low carb, I'm just saying if you want your carbs to come from somewhere else and not so much your